I want to end by introducing you to a conversation I had with one of my grandsons. This is Reese when he was born. He was a failure to thrive baby. Uh, we thought we were losing him. We prayed over him. We sang over him. I want to show you a picture of Reese today because he's a little bit of a miracle. And I think because of the way he started out, he's a spiritually sensitive child. But he asked me the other day, he said, Lovey, have you ever heard God speak? And I said, I think God speaks to me, but I've never heard his voice. Have you? And he said, yes. And I said, well, do tell me about it. And he said, when I was in bed the other night, everybody was asleep except me. And I felt a hand on my shoulder. And I said, oh, Reese, were you afraid? And he said, no, I was really, really happy. I said, what did God say to you? He said, God said to me, I want you to love Jesus for the rest of your life. And I thought that this grandma was supposed to hear that so that she would say to the world's children, resilient discipleship means loving Jesus for the rest of your life. Isn't that what spiritual resilient discipleship is? I pray this generation will find in Jesus their primary allegiance, their greatest affection, and that they will follow him totally and identify with him completely. May it be so.